All right, guys. Here are my Pico Four Virtual Reality Standard headset, which I actually using today for testing out the LG Ally. As well, I'm not going to show you Quest Two because I already sold my because Pico Four is good enough. All right, then my Quest Two, which is why I use this headset. All right, more than Quest 2 alright because the resolution is yeah much more better as well. so I have color pass through even we have this functionality of this alright shortcut uh, button for content creator screen recording which is why I can show you alright inside out recording things just like this alright this is pretty cool awesome isn't it so I'm going to record this alright by show you my ROG allies as well as simultaneously alright while well, recording you can check the CPU we can interact with this uh, monitor so currently i'm running the 30 watt all right uh it's the highest um show you again what is this call right this is the menu operation mode okay cool so yeah as well i'm using the fps vr to show you the performance of in-game currently everything i will show you my setting so for the dynamic light enable when the control is in the day this one don't care but what we need to care is that for the performer wise alright for at least for now I will say use the 72 not 90 because this performance of ROG allies it won't able to run your alright ROG allies for the VR up to 90 Hz alright the highest I see actually close to 60 which is not a solid right uh, performance I will say and then that's not be rex or will be 100 depend on internet speed as well go to the uh, streaming uh, VR graphic quality will set as high right this is the higher you should go shouldn't go ultra because they will totally hang and make your LGRI even much more hotter which is what we don't want to do to kill off the right, LG allies right next is that of course yeah forget to mention is that the performer actually you won't get as close as the uh, solid RTX 3070 I will say somewhere below 2070 alright it's like 2060 or 1080 ish alright that kind of performance you will be getting so high quality is for you to get higher resolution in your Pico 4 or your Quest 2 but you won't get a solid FPS alright because you won't have much more quality uh, for the image itself to render because you are render two thing, one is your yeah your stream ROG allies, another is your headset. So don't expect everything to be solid, right? And then for VR frame rate will be seventy two, as well as VR big rates. So we'll set according to how high is your alright the suggestion is, and depend on internet speed as well. And then for synchronous space war or SW, I'll just leave it as automatic for now because we are still testing as well as for the advanced option I will set as uh, Snapdragon game super resolution as uh, upscaling tick alright not sure you will help cheeky alright so I'm going to change another size of ring so currently is uh, somewhere green color 60 PS so the game start you will drop alright that's how it works okay, I just go with hard Positioning, keep on finding, and then that is not stable, so it's very hard to see how it actually works. Yeah, you can tell when by playing this virtual reality game, you do the ROG ally, the graphics is not good. I would say slightly better than this kind of game. So roughly, I would say you will be seeing somewhere 36 FPS for it. Okay, 
Okay, and he's kind of so not so crazy. Alright. Here we go. Okay, that's done with the big saber. So now this time I'm going to try another different setting, which is disable the SSW. Alright. So we shall see how actually it works. Not sure you will take the effect instantly. Monster game big saber. Maybe it doesn't work at all. Maybe required to restart. I'm not sure. But that's just testing. Alright. I'm gonna play same sound to test what are the differences. Alright, now I see slightly better performance when it comes to FPS due to the saber of the SSW. When we get roughly 40 to 45 frames per second, this is even better. That is good. So, according to this, alright, disable your synchronous space ward off. So, now we're going to try the next game. This time around, yeah, I'm not sure why the Steam VR actually was close. Another thing I would like to show you that to get a better resolution when you're running high performance for myself, actually, I've been checking out. Alright, I will highly recommend you get a FPS VR and then you can simply click on this thing or you can click here FPS VR and then you can see there's a resolution setting. So for this is actually I say it's a sixty percent. I think it helped my application of the right specifically games running even better performance for the visual clarity. But I won't say you will get super sharp image because due to this trade off, you will get all right significant frame drop. I that's what I think. All right, next game I'm going to try right now is Half Life Alex. All right, here we are, Half Life Alex running somewhere performer at the. Alright, unstable frame per second, somewhere 35 or 36, and the average is somewhere 46. Which is not that bad. Or oh, even the building structure is not fully root at all, right? Due to this so called open world, yeah, so called open world, right? The structure. So I would say the visual clarity at here is, isn't that bad, right? Not the worst, still playable. But you won't say it's a good right, kind of performance you will be seeing due to the reposition ratio is keep on right, yeah, rising. And then we are using fully right, amount of the RAM. Always at the maximum because this game actually you know that. Yeah, if you own a PC VR and you own a PC headset, you should know that this require right a good graphic card to yeah, able to play. Yeah, everything when you're moving is very blurry. So yeah, we can give a shot and go inside and see how the performance is. All right, here actually everything is not so bad, but you will see frame yeah rising at forty five. Okay. And then you will still see the frame missing. Not a good experience, I would say. Yeah, 
hopefully you will get at least 35 fps not that bad you can run this kind of performance as high and the resolution is isn't that bad just that the performance you're getting is not that smooth all right here we done with the half life alex now we are moving ahead to another titles which is most of my all right uh favorite this is my one of my most favorite titles break and sorcery and here we go so we don't need a lot of things oh before i start the game right of course i'm going to show you what are the performance running and the graphic actually is not that bad right graphic. so super sampling says normal default art screen is normal mse is normal texture quality is high right which is why you will see the film drop so much but let's see is it really playable it is According to the bricks and sorcery, the performance is not that good. So I won't recommend you to play Brick and Sorcery in uh yeah with your ROG ally unless you're willing to go ahead and set a setting everything in medium, including your I believe for your ROG ally. I think that will is where you can get at least 45 solid FPS. But still not worth it, alright, because the graphic will be just like the Alright, it's a uh, crash or uh, standalone version, which is very meh. Alright, so that's it for this 3 game. I'm going to show you other game later on. So, be right back. <laughs> 